In 2011, the National Council of State Boards of Nursing conducted a landmark longitudinal simulation research study in nursing education. There were three areas they really wanted to focus on. One was to determine whether or not varying amounts of simulation could be substituted for clinical hours. The second part was really to evaluate new graduates' ability to translate their nursing knowledge and skills into the workplace. And the third was to really highlight those best practices in the use of simulation in nursing education. The conclusions of the study were really compelling. Up to 50% simulation can be effectively substituted for traditional clinical experiences. Um, and the substitution can occur across geographic areas, both urban and rural. The second is that the NCLEX pass rates were not changed between nursing students who had the different varying amounts of simulation versus traditional. All three groups were equally prepared to enter the practice of nursing. I love working with students in simulation and one of the aha moments for me with students learning in simulation was a simulation where a student during the simulation gave a medication that probably wasn't the best choice given that situation. What was really um, aha for me was during the debriefing when the student revealed that the reasoning and thinking behind why they chose that medication had nothing to do with their knowledge of the medication. It had more to do with the circumstances of the pressure they were feeling to have to make a decision in that moment and not knowing their resources. So it was important for me to really value this notion of critical conversation so that I had the aha with what is important uh, to emphasize in student learning.